welcome to another episode of Sophia Wisdom. My name is Maria Benning and I'm a channel for Divine Sophia. And Sophia is my primary guide and she comes through me. I meld energy with her. She basically comes in and uses me to speak. Uh, the voice is mine, of course, but the words are all hers. And what I do on this show every week is address a particular topic. And today I'm going to be talking about abundance and is there really a secret? And you can hear a whole lot more about how this happened for me uh, by looking at my website at reconnectandheal.com or looking at the introductory video that we did to the Sophia Wisdom series, um, Sophia Wisdom 1. So today, again, like I said, we're going to be talking about abundance and whether there really is a secret. I've been paying a lot of attention to this topic, and I know that many of you have as well. Lots of you have seen What the Bleep, you've heard about the Law of Attraction, but I'd like to hear a little bit about what Sophia has to offer about this topic. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin this energy, and what you'll see is my hands start to flap around. And the best thing for you in the audience is if you can just close your eyes and just, just ignore what's happening on the screen and basically just go inside get still and listen to what the message is uh, because really this is m more a feeling experience than anything and that's easier to do when your eyes are closed. Mine pop open and close periodically um, but it can be a little distracting to see my hands move about so just go ahead and close your eyes and I'm going to go ahead and begin taking a nice deep breath and you can do the same if you like. Sophia, here we are, another show, the 15th in the series of 16, and today I'd like you to speak about abundance, abundance versus lack, and whether there really is a secret to abundance. And thank you, as always, for being here with me. Thank you for blessing me in this way, and thank you for prodding me to do this show. So here we are talking about a topic of great interest to many of you. For when you think about abundance, most of you immediately go to money. But of course, abundance really has to do with balance in your life. And it isn't just on a financial basis that the secret is so popular. Some of you are doing quite well in that arena and yet there are other areas in your life that are out of alignment, out of balance. There are many who are speaking of this topic very authoritatively and we are thinking specifically of Abraham Hicks works and you can go on your internet and research that a bit and find great vast amounts of information there about this topic. So I will simply support what is already there for you see a universal truth is a universal truth. If you can take a step back and have a look at your life and look at the primary areas that you might think of when addressing what it is you're happy with and not happy with in your life. So you might be thinking, okay, here's how I'd like my life to look. I'd like a balanced and loving relationship with a partner who matches me who I can communicate with at my highest level with his or her highest level. So I'd like a divine partnership. That would be really lovely. And yes, of course, it would be marvelous if financially I were more in the flow, if things came to me very easily financially. This is something that I would really enjoy. And my friendships, my dear friends, if we were in ease with one another and communicating with each other in a most loving fashion, that would be lovely as well. Perhaps you would like more friendships in your life. Perhaps for you that would mean a more balanced life that you are enjoying. Family members, oh this is a touchy subject, but perhaps 
it is in this arena that you feel you are most lacking, that your relationships with your blood relatives could be much, much more delightful than it is. Maybe your particular bone of contention has to do with your work life. If you are getting up in the morning, dreading, dreading what is in front of you in the day as you scurry about heading to work, thinking about all of the many things that you must accomplish today. If this brings up feelings of regret, disappointment, frustration, anger, any of these, this is perhaps an area where you might focus where you would like to be more abundantly in balance. Perhaps for many of you it is your health. This one knows what that was like. For the truth is it is an enormous challenge when you are not well physically. It can be extremely difficult to find your happy place when you are feeling physically unwell. So this may be an area that you would ask for some assistance with. Perhaps everything else is beautiful, but you are not happy with where you are living, your geographical surroundings. And you feel that your life would be far more abundant if you were only someplace else. So you see there are many different arenas that you could be addressing, but the fact is that when you are truly in abundance, all of these areas bring you joy. You find satisfaction and delight in all of them. So it isn't that there is one particular area that is out of skew and everything else is in balance. Really, there is some semblance of imbalance in every area of your life until it is all in balance. This may seem a playful way to describe it, that it is not so easy for you to understand. So let's take a moment here and just get very, very still within. And if you could name what it is you are feeling right now, what would you call that emotion? This emotional guidance scale, as it is called, can be of great assist to you in determining where you are now, and there is no point in denying where you are now, and where you'd actually like to go, where you would actually like to be. So, if you know, for example, that you are in great sadness about a particular relationship in your life, let's say your child, and what you would really love to experience is joy with your child, trust that all is well with your child, that you would like to get from this point to that point. It may seem a far, far leap. And the beautiful thing is that there is no need to feel like you must force yourself from this point where you are to some point where you feel like you really ought to be. For if what you are feeling is any particular emotion, then spend a little bit of time reflecting on that particular emotion and simply allow it to be what it is. Do not try to pretend that it is something else. As one of the friends has said, do not paint a smile on your pig, lipstick and all.